If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced math concepts. We are going to learn the two methods to analyze the parabola. Analyze the parabola means that we are going to analyze the given equation of parabola and from which we will find the focus, directrix and the vertex of the parabola. So we are, we are having an example here that is x square minus 4x minus 8y plus 4 equals to 0. So the method number one is simple that we will use to find the focus vertex and directrix by just using the equation or the standard form by just using the standard of the equation of parabola. As this equation is not in standard form so we have to convert the equation in the standard form. So let's convert it as x square minus 4x minus 8y plus 4 equals so the standard form we have to convert it into the standard form like this this or any like this in which we have x on one side and y on one side so we will write it in the form x square minus 4x plus 4 equals to 8y we have moved the y on the other side as we have x on the uh, on one side so now on the uh, on the left hand side you can say you can see that there is the uh, for the, uh, the equation uh, uh, is of the form of the formula a plus a minus b whole square so we can close this in the form as x minus 2 whole square that is equals to <coughs> x minus 2 whole square equals to 8y now this equation is in the standard form in which x is on the one side and y is on the other side so which standard form this where x is on one side and y is on the one on the other side now we, now it is clear it is clear here that there is something subtracting from the x so it means that this uh, we uh, it means we will not use the standard form of equation when vertex at a region 0 0 we will use the equation when vertex is not at a region so we have this standard form now using the standard form we will go for with finding the vertex um, uh, with a vertex directrix and the focus so first we will find the vertex so for vertex we have to compare this equation th that i label as a with the standard form of the equation when the vertex is not at origin because the equation a is the equation when vertex not at origin so we have to form this we have to use the standard form of parabola in which the, the um, vertex is not at origin where we have to replace the x by x minus h and y by y minus k so we will form this equation as x minus h whole square as i have written that we will replace x by x minus h in case the vertex is not at origin and y by y minus k so we have to compare our equation a with which equation this equation number b so if we compare the a and b it is clear that the value of h and k are basically the value of the vertex of uh, vertex with new orig origin so h and k is the new ori origin no it will not be 0 0 so we have got h equals to 2 as we have compared these equations 2 and h and what is k here if i 8y as there is no um, value of k here so it means y minus 0 is here if i write here so it means k will be equals to 0 what will be the vertex vertex will be where h is the x coordinate and k is the y coordinate vertex will be 2 and 0 so this is how we can find the vertex of the um, uh, equation of the parabola that is not at origin we move towards the focus for focus again we have to compare the equation a and b we have to compare what we have to compare this 8 and this 4a where a represents the number of units uh, focuses from the vertex a is basically the distance of the focus from the vertex so if i compare them we will get 4a equals to a that will be equals to 2 a is equals to 2 means uh, focus is at a distance of 2 units from the vertex so, so uh, now 2a is equals to 2 is not the uh, value of the focus so in order to find the value of the focus let's draw it on the mm, let's draw the parabola so for drawing a parabola you have to analyze the equation in order to check the parabola will be on the upward side or downward or left or right or the fo and the focus will lie on which uh, axis so for that purpose let's um, I'll analyze the parabola by just writing its equation and you will understand that how it is easy it is so I'll write here just the next step is analyze in order to draw or sketch the parabola so for analyzing we will write the equation as x minus 2 whole square equals to plus 8y now by looking at this equation it is easier for us to find that where the parabola shape of the uh, where the axis of symmetry of the parabola lie or where the focus will lie 
Now this y will represent the axis of symmetry. As I have already told you, what is the axis of symmetry? It is basically the axis at which the vertex and the focus will lie. It means the focus will lie on the y axis. So when we talk about the y axis, we have a positive and the negative. So in order to check which y axis, we have to check the sign at this place. And it will tell you that it is positive y axis. So how easier it is to check the location of the parabola. So we will draw it on the um, um, on the coordinate system so you can easily have the um, uh, you can easily uh, find the focus now we will find the focus by drawing it on the uh, on the uh, coordinate system so so we have to first first we will uh, spot the vertex as the vertex is 2 and 0 so vertex will be at this point this is 2 and 0 and we have found in focus that focus is at 2 units from the vertex and 2 units uh, on which side as we have already analyzed that we have to move on the positive y axis positive y axis it means the axis of symmetry will be uh, will be on the y axis uh, will be the y axis and the focus will lie on the y axis so for that we have to move how many units two units we have to move two units from here for the focus so focus will be at this point that is 2 and 2 it means the, the x value of the focus will remain same but the y value of the focus will be 2 units because focus and vertex lie on the same line. So it means our parabola will shape like if I draw here it is uh, it's just uh, um, uh, roughly I, am, I have ju just drawn it roughly so parabola will be of like this shape. Now once you get this shape it will be easier for you to fi uh, find the directrix. Now the last thing is directrix. So directrix all depends on focus. If you find the focus, it means you can easily find that directrix. So I have not written here the value of focus. Let's write it. So the focus will be 2 and 2 as focus lies inside the parabola. So we have found the vertex and focus. Now what left is directrix? If the focus is at 2 units from the vertex upward, then the directly directrix will be two units downward here is the directrix because the uh, focus is at two units from the vertex then it will be two units downward from the vertex so we can say that the equation of directrix will be y equals to minus two directrix will be y equals to minus two so this is so easier we have found the, the vertex focus and directrix so this is one method that you can use to analyze the parabola. Now we move towards the method number two. So in method number two, we will use the substitution method uh, in order to find the focus vertex and direct vertex and directrix of the um, uh, of the uh, given equation of parabola. So what we have to do is we will use the, we will use a step by step method and we will use the same example as in method number one where we were having the equation of parabola is like this then we have converted it into the standard form this is equation number one so we have labeled it one and the step number one of the substitution method is we will substitute the uh, uh, variables in the equation number one as substitution how let's see from equation number one we have x minus 2 equals to x we have substituted x instead of x minus 2 and small y equals to capital Y. So these are the two equations that we have got equation number A and B from equation 1. So we have made the substitution like this. Now we can rewrite the equation as rewrite 1 as we have to substitute these values in the equation number 1. Here we have square. So x is square equals to 8y. Keep this in mind this x and y are capital this is in order to differentiate so x square is equals to 8y this is equation number 2 now we have to find the focus vertex and directrix of equation number 1 as well as equation number 2 in this method so a step number 2 is from equation 2 we will start from equation 2 and will find the focus vertex and, vertex and directrix of equation number 2 as equation number 2 is the standard form of equation of the parabola where the vertex is 0, 0. So first we will find the vertex, focus and directrix of this equation. Then we will move towards the equation number 1 using this equation. So by just looking at the equation number 2, we can say that what is the vertex? Vertex is 0, 0. Why? Because we know that 
this is the standard form of equation of parabola when the vertex is zero so we can easily tell this by just looking at the equation so keep this in mind we are using just equation number two then we move towards the focus for focus we have to compare equation two with standard form of equation of, of the parabola that is if i write the standard form that corresponds to this parabola is so for focus compare equation uh, equation two with equation Three. So if we compare 2 and 3, we will get the number of units of the focus as we have to compare this 8 with 4a. 4a equals to 8 and the value of focus will be equals to 2. So it means focus is at a distance of 2 units from the vertex. So we can say that uh, as the focus is at 2 units from the vertex, 2 is the magnitude of the focus and we can find the, the uh, coordinates of the focus by, by just Looking at the equation number 2 as from equation number 2 we can say that x square is equals to 8y. From here y is the axis of symmetry on which the focus will lie. Focus as well as the vertex and it means on y axis the focus will lie. And now where we have to check whether the uh, on positive or negative. So this sign will decide the the positive or the negative axis so from here we can say it will be positive we will draw the vertex here we have the vertex and the and the, the parabola will be in the upward direction and as and the focus will lie inside it so it means parabola shape will be like this and this will be the shape of parabola of which equation equation number two okay so this is the, this will be the form and now from here we can easily find the focus focus is two units from the vertex so focus will lie at this point this will be vertex and the value and the coordinates of focus will be 0 and 2 as we, it, it lies on the y axis so i can easily say that focus will be 0 and 2 then we have to find the directrix directrix is quite much easier it will be like at this point as two, um, uh, focus is at two units from vertex then the directrix is also two units from the uh, from the vertex but in the opposite direction so directrix will be y equals to minus 2. So we have found the vertex focus and directrix of equation number 2. But what about the equation number 1? That is actually the equation of the question. Now from this step number 2 we will evaluate the values of value of uh, focus vertex and directrix of equation number 1. So our step number 3 is from equation number 1. From equation 1 what we have is equation number 1 was let's write it x minus 2 whole square equals to 8y. Now we have to find the focus vertex and directrix of equation number 1. For this first we will find the vertex. Vertex for vertex. What we have to do we have to use the equation a and b. What was equation and a and equation b? As x minus 2 equals to capital X. This, this was the substitution. This was the substitution that we have made earlier. So y is equals to capital Y. This will be b. We have x minus 2. What is capital X and capital Y? Now keep this in mind that this capital X and this capital Y vertex of equation 2. So we have to substitute the value of, of the vertex of equation 2. So vertex of equation 2 0 and 0. So we will replace X and Y with 0 and 0. X minus 2 equals to 0. So we will get X equals to 2 and y, small y equals to capital Y. So small y equals to 0. So this is the vertex of equation number 1. So vertex of equation 1 will be that is the shifted parabola 2 and 0. Now we have to find the focus. For focus we have to substitute the focus of the equation number 2 into the equation number 1. Focus will be same of 2 units. 2 units. So, so we have to put the value of the focus of equation number 2 into the equation a and b x minus 2 equals to capital X and y equals to capital Y. So x minus 2, what was the value of x in focus? It's It was 0. I will put 0 here. So x will be equals to 2. And the value of y was, what was y? It was 2. So it equals to 2. So the focus of equation 1 is 2 and 2. Now we will find the directrix. As the directrix of equation 2 was, equation 2 was y equals to minus 2. So we have to put the value, this value of y into the equation b, this one. So put y equals to minus 2 in equation b in order to find the directrix of the equation 1. So b is 
small y equals to capital Y. This was the equation. So small y equals to minus 2. Directrix of equation 2 of equation 1 will be y equals to minus 2. So this is how you can find the focus vertex and directrix uh, by using the method number 2 by using the substitution method. So that's all from today's lecture. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.